Good afternoon, ma'am. So I have the pleasure of uh, taking the interview of Dr. Arushi. Dr. Arushi did her undergraduation, really amazing rank of twenty uh, in this member I N I C T, and uh, uh, she got an amazing rank. Need PC also for that matter. She got a rank of one seventy one in Need PC. She did not stop after Need PC. She kept on continuing and uh, further improved her rank in this number I N I C T. All right. So how are how are you, Arushi? How are you? Hi, sir. I'm fine. So, so great. Congratulations again. So, uh, Arushi, I'll keep the uh, I'll directly jump into the question so that it doesn't waste viewers' times also. So my main question will be like you know fair enough. We have enough interviews talking about. that how they prepare from third year or fourth year how they use different platforms and stuff like that mm -hmm. my question to you is that uh, uh what is that you used differently and uh, what was your revision strategy two main questions anything that you would I'd want to advise like you feel that this is something which i did differently that's why i got a rank 20 you know because mm -hmm. some advice is very common to every topper mm -hmm. so let's not go there let's talk about which you feel that you did differently and uh, apart from that how did you what was your revision strategy and any tool particularly you would want to say that you used as far as revision is concerned uh main um difference that i would say which uh, uh, helped me get my rank would be one is focusing on previous year topics which everyone keeps saying but uh, that's really important because if you don't go get those basic questions right then you don't get a rank so in order to revise those previous year topics and uh, multiple times and just be thorough with them i used um, it would make flash cards like whatever i could like you know adding pictures and all so uh, and then daily i would review them no matter what i would finish those flash cards as a goal so i would constantly keep in touch so whether it was need postponement or anything so constantly doing those cards really made a difference and alongside that um, solving a lot of mcqs because um, you know the topic but till you apply the knowledge that you have in those questions and especially how to rule out options that i by practicing a lot of questions generally i could get the hang of it so these are the two main things which i would say is like you know made a difference great so basically like unlike other people everyone knows the importance of previous year topics but you ensured that you revise those previous year topics using flash cards mm -hmm. that's the one yeah. major differentiator and solving a lot of solving a lot of mcqs, MCQs. so solving a lot of mcqs brings me brings me to uh, the importance of grant test and did you like the uh, uh, dbmci grant test and any uh, advice on how students should taste their grant tests uh, i uh, did i did appear for like around um, Eight to nine, almost ten grant tests from DBMCI, and I would do them regularly. And uh, I would always made sure that after giving grant tests, I would review it, no matter how long it took, but mm -hmm. review it in detail. Uh, one, um, the like plus point about DBMCI grant tests were the questions were uh, kind of uh, clinical, and uh, they were a bit lengthy, which was uh, what people faced in NEET this time. So I felt that uh, having solved those kind of questions gave me an advantage in NEET. and um, and the explanations and all were really nice and lot of flow charts were in, included in the explanations so whatever additional info i got i would add to my flash cards so that's how i made use of the grant test and uh, another thing is time management so that also i learned using that mm -hmm. so so yeah so basically as far as grant tests are concerned is something which everyone like will advise but i think one thing you really did nicely was using the explanation of the grant test into integrating it into your flash cards yes. and using then again it as a revision using it again as a revision revision tool great mm -hmm. any particular faculty that you feel that was really helpful uh, in your particular preparation your favorite faculty from uh, uh, dbmc and igurukul uh particularly i um, really like the videos of ashwini sir anatomy and tamim sir medicine and uh, like i i watched wipe videos and uh, the one shot revision videos of both of them so that one shot revision videos especially were really concise and ashwini sir is expects especially because of all the he has used a lot of tools so as to make it uh, easier for people to understand so i really appreciate that and last minute before the exam i just glanced through it and uh, his wife notes also so that really helped me and tamim sir's explanation of ecgs like i would just see that from wipe before the exam and that really helped me in both the uh, neat and nict great there's that's something which i think every aspirant irrespective of whichever their primary platform is will end up using at some point or the other dr ashwini's one shot videos mm -hmm. i think the way he has even as a student from his student 
five or six years back when I would say that the way mm-hmm. he has concise anatomy, especially mm-hmm. as something which is which is dreaded by a lot of students, frankly, yeah. the way Dr. Ashwini mm-hmm. has concise anatomy, those one shot and vibe, is mm-hmm. just amazing. Like irrespective of whichever platform you are using as a primary source, this one, this one thing, and another ECG videos of Dr. Ash uh, Tamim, mm-hmm. you should definitely use. It brings me to actually uh, the point that they are actually free available for uh, they are available for free for the next two three days on the 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 DBMC one app. So anyone who's watching this interview, if you're looking for some best resource for ecg they can actually go out and check it out but uh, yeah great definitely uh, uh, so uh, use flashcards for revision use uh, gts to ensure that your mcq practice is done mm-hmm. uh, incorporate those topics from gts into revision and uh, ensure that you keep on revising those previous year topics again and again and again and not just keep on uh, revising those keep on applying them by doing mcq practice mm-hmm. that's i think that's the main thing that you really wanted to uh, main thing what you really wanted to convey one 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 other question i really want to ask you you got you got a 171 rank arushi mm-hmm. in neat yeah. okay like uh, it's a dream of pretty much everyone to be very honest like you know getting a, a two digit or three digit rank in neat uh, neat got over in august the results probably came in august 20 25 something like mm-hmm. that how did you study for the next two months like people will give up i'm 100% sure people not give up but people will not have yeah, the motivation, motivation to study like what kept you going that you know nahi mere ko november bhi nikalna hai like you know like that um i one uh, i actually thought that you know i could do better because um, i had given previous me i and hmm. it didn't go that like i got 900 around rank hmm. so i just felt like you know if i do if i do more mcqs and i put in a bit more hard work i can you know do more better and um, so i took a break like i went on a vacation came mm-hmm. back almost a month almost i just you know relaxed and then two months i studied properly i had my notes everything so i just revised that and almost you know week may i gave like three four gts reviewed it so that's how i got a lot of confidence in this uh, november inct exam so it just felt like any other gt and uh, yeah so and then No, thankfully, I got a good rank. Not a good rank. This is the stupendous rank, to be very honest. Probably one of the best ranks, so definitely. So yeah, so basically, you did take out the time. You did take out the time for your, mm. uh, you know, vacation and everything. But then again, mm. you had your material ready. Yeah. Just put that way that you had your material ready for revision. Your one shots, your your flashcards that you talked about. You mm. know, of the previous set topics, and you just went through them once, twice right. more along with mm. solving GTs, and uh, then gave the exam and exam felt like a GT. I think this is very important that exam should feel like a GT. Like mm. for a, you should have that much GT practice that any other exam feels like a giving just yeah. another. Grand because test. Uh, getting stressed is one major reason good <laughs> students don't do well in the main exam. Definitely. So, so how how uh, is, at any point in the exam did you feel stressed or uh, like is there anything that you you feel that if I'm feeling stressed this is I'll do and uh, this will calm me down during exam anything like that any particular um, tip? Like initial like I started off calmly I would like take deep breaths whenever you know any question I didn't know I would be like I'll leave it and then come back to it. So I would um, not try to do things fast because the previous exam I did that mistake. I tried to do stuff very like solve questions too fast because I was afraid I'll run out of time, and I made mistakes. So I tried to stay calm and I'm like, okay, I have my one nice thing was backup neat was there, so <laughs> my neat seat. So that also kept me calm. So yeah, main thing is to read the question properly and read every option properly, rule out stuff. So that's the main gist of. Okay. So I think I'll summarize the interview in four parts. That uh, ensure that you have your revision material ready, which can be in the form of flashcards like she used, which really helped. And those materials should be obviously from derived derived from previous year topics. Mm-hmm. Give enough number of grant tests, review those grant tests, and incorporate the grant tests into the revision material as well. And uh, at the same point of time, keep calm because that's how good students feel. And having a neat rank obviously helped you. And uh, especially for anatomy, I would specifically say, uh, irrespective of any platform, that Ashwini sir is just just another level. And they can you can definitely use his one shot and vibe and uh, Thameem sir's ECG which are again uh, there available for free which you can definitely use in order to uh, so, you know kind of supercharge your operation in that way. All right, great Arushi, thank you, thank you for this thank interview. You so any any parting words that you want to say to any any aspirant, anything last towards the end towards the end of the interview? Um, I would say like uh, this preparation is more like a mind game, like you know. people get depressed and they give up and all so main thing is you should have confidence in yourself because if you feel that you can do it then you will put in the hard work and you know ultimately you'll get results so just keep going and don't listen to all the noise and then things will work out great great
thank you thanks a lot of uh, dream branch um pediatrics <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the world of pediatrics arish okay. great all right so thank, thank you, you so thank much. you for this interview thank you for your thank time you. thank you thank you thank you